Hello and welcome to another edition of Rock and Golf. And with me is Stuart Koch, the general manager and PGA professional. Stuart, how are you? It's good to see you, Rock. Pleasure. Got a nice, clear, overcast day. Best time to play golf. And possibly, could you give us some sort of an idea of what it's like to be a general manager? What I envision is that you come to the course, you're putting on your spikes, you're walking out to the practice <laughs> tee, couldn't, <laughs> couldn't be further from the truth. Could not be further from the truth. Um, although I am a PGA professional and very fortunate to, to be able to have golf as part of my life for a living and for my job. Uh, as a general manager, it's the business end of it more than anything else that uh, I'm, I'm responsible for for all the business aspects. Right, right. So I, <coughs> and, I, I was just daydreaming. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and, and most of us who get into the business think that that's what we're going to do the rest of our right. lives. And there was a time where I played a lot more golf as a teaching professional and a head professional, but now that I'm a general manager, it's a lot more about the books. I still manage to get out and right, play some golf right. every once in a while. It's Please. amazing how reality sits in. Oh yeah, absolutely, <laughs> okay. absolutely. One of the more tougher holes? Yes, definitely. Probably from the back tees, and we're going to play the blue tees this morning. It's a little wet, but from the back tees, it's probably the most difficult hole on the golf course. Um, it's plenty. It's all you want from the blue tees as well, but it, it's, a, it's a great, you know, Robert Trent Jones Jr. did an awesome job on the whole golf course, but this is one of his best pieces of work. This is an outstanding hole. Correct. I agree. <coughs> it's your honor. My honor, huh? All right. The game is going to be uh, a two-hole skins match. <laughs> uh, and if you win, I'll buy the beverages. And if I win, a new set of clubs? Let's see what we can do. I'm not sure the people I answer to would uh, like that on the books, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can All right. do. All righty. Tee it up. Ready Let's to get it. it airborne? I'm in trouble. Oh, that's perfect. Right down the middle. All right, Stuart, that was a great shot. Thanks. Appreciate you were it. asking for strokes? Well, you know, I'm old and I don't play much golf, so I need all the help I can get. Okay. All right, here we go. So it's my turn, and I need to put it back in the fairway just to keep up with you. <coughs> Got me a slicer there. That's gonna make the whole play a little longer. A little longer. It's all right. I can use a tip. Um, I got my line of sight. I don't need to get to the hole. Yeah, it, it would take a bomb to get to the hole from here, Rocker. You're probably 230 out at least. So, you know, the, and the fairway gets really tight up there by the green. I would take a shorter club, seven iron, eight iron, and just lay it up. You need only need to hit it about 140, 150 yards. Put it in the middle and give yourself a wedge into the green. See if you can make par that way. Let's see if a lot of trouble up there if you tried to reach the green right now. Yeah, let's see. Put Thanks. a good, put a Thanks. good swing on it. All right. Right over the 150 there. All right. Well, Stuart, you hit a perfect shot. Close to perfect. A little further right of where I wanted to be. It makes the whole play a little yeah, longer. That's yeah. all right. Perfect. I, I think it's perfect. You're dead at the hole. Got a good look at the green. Yep. Yes, you do. Yep. And uh, let's see, put a good swing on it and don't right. be too we'll bad. Let's see what we can do. Let's we'll see right. what we can do. Oh, I hit it fat, Rock. Hit it fat. Miles short. That's yeah, a, you're not a mile short, but it's that's, okay. It's better than me. Early morning, early morning old man swing there. <laughs> what we have here is uh, a duffer's lie. Ah, but it didn't hurt you too bad, though. I'm here in two. I need to get on three just to give this guy uh, some competition, as they say. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see. Any tips here? You know, you got a pretty good lie in the rough. I, I would just, you know, you got a wide open shot at the green. Just the big thing on a, on a side hill lie like this is make sure you keep your posture, you know, because it's not on a level lie. You want to keep your knee flexed and make sure you stay still. 
I'll give it a try. Give it a try. All right. There you go. Step up there and repeat that swing. That's a better swing at it there, Rock. Just catch something for me. Get up there a little bit. Oh. It's all right. You're pin high. Maybe Not I'll bad. just knock it in. How there about you that? go. There you go. That again. I said, well, we're here at the result of my fat miss from back there. I hit it hit about four inches behind the golf ball. So as a result, I'm 15 yards short of the green. So we'll see if we can get it up and down for par. Because I know Rocco's going to get his up and down from where he is. Go a little. Get on down the hill. Oh, perfect. Good shot. Good shot. Ah, I thought that would run out a little more than it did, though. All right. All right. Thanks. We got a, we got a shot apart, at least. We'll see what we can do. Okay. Well, actually, I think I can make this. Well, see what you can do. That'd be a heck it's, of a par. It'd be a heck of a par. Got the right line. Just get her close, though. Just got to do it right, that's all. Don't do anything crazy on me. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to put this in and just put a little bit of pressure there on it. There you go. It's got a chance. Oh, see if it'll break right left in. a little bit. Oh. Good shot, though. Very good shot. I'll take good chip. That. It's a heck of a chip there, Rocco. Nice chip. I liked it. Yeah. Greens are in really great shape. Boy, the greens are in really good shape. Our superintendent does a fantastic job on both golf courses, and the greens have just been getting better and better throughout the spring here. All right, so what do you have? Kind of a... Uh... No, oh, I think it's going to move this a little bit left at the end. It's no more than about a ball outside the cup, though, I wouldn't think. They're rolling so true that, boy, all you got to do is get it online, and it. we'll see if we can make a good stroke on it here. I pushed it a little bit. Speed yes, was good. Did. See, it turned there a little bit. That baby up. All I got to do is make this. And make it, and we tie. Yep. And we have a half. I love it's it. Certainly not the first guy to make bogey on this hole. This is, like I said, the hardest, hardest hole on the golf course. It's always a good idea to put your club on a flag stick. That way you won't forget it. There you go. That's a good tip. It's coming from someone who used to forget clubs all the time. Yeah. I've lost, uh, I've lost <laughs> a few myself. Here we go. I think it's dead straight in. Yep. No pressure. It's easy for me to say. <laughs> Good putt. That's a heck of an up. What did I get lucky, huh? Good work. Oh, make your own luck. You hit two really Thanks. good shots at the end there. Thanks. All right. Okay, great. Stuart, before we head to the next hole, I was wondering perhaps you could tell us about the first tee program here. I know that uh, uh, it's a national program, and I'm sure that you're uh, uh, very happy to be a part of it. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a great program, and you know, kind of came about when Tiger first came on the scene, and it, be, it was his pet project, and it has ex grown and expanded. And, uh -huh. uh, we are the host course for the for the Portland chapter of the first tee. Uh, the executive director Quincy Hurd and his assistant Kelly do an amazing job. Um, you know, we, any of us who love golf know the, the values and the and all the life lessons that that golf can teach you. And and the first tee program's done a great job of, of giving giving kids that opportunity. And they really focus on more than just golf. They they have some classes called life skills classes and other things to really really teach the all the values that we hold so dear in the game of golf right. and, and the true. life That's lessons. And exactly. It, and, and golf somewhat does mirror. Uh, life itself, and a lot of people don't understand that. I mean, it's uh, it's a character builder, and it's uh, just a showing your character. Period. Absolutely. Um, who does it benefit? I mean, uh, what are the ages of the uh, uh, students? You know, um, I believe they start at seven years old and go on up to to eighteen, and then uh -huh. they graduate. And they put a lot of a lot of scholarship programs, put a lot of kids in college and college golf programs, and just on the college through scholarships and stuff like yeah. that in general. Um, it's just a, it's a great program, and we're we're really we're fortunate to uh, to be the host course and, and to be able to interact with them a lot and and uh, and have them on property. It's a, it's great. a great asset great. to, yeah, to Heron Lakes. And there's another thing that Tiger does for the game of golf and the general public and 
in general, period. It's, uh, uh, a lot of people don't know it, but he does give his time, his money, and uh, whatever else just to make it all happen just for them. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, and you know, that programs like that, it, the, the golfers in general, and especially tour players, are, are all so generous with their, with their time and their money. And, and, and it's, uh, you know, I'm proud to be a PJ professional and a, and a, and a golf professional and a, and a member of the golf community because th those guys do us proud all the time. I, you know, athletes in all sports do contribute a lot, but I think a, a greater portion of professional golfers do, you know, give their time to, to a lot of worthy causes, and, and it's, yeah. it's, it's good to be a part of. Not only are they good, but they're generous. Very much so, very much so. Absolutely. The next tee waits. Let's go. All right. You're even with me. I got to get to got to get up a couple on you. Heron Lakes Golf Course is a 36-hole Robert Trent Jones Jr. design. It derives its namesake from the nature reserve that exists along its northwest perimeter. It is an eye-pleasing walk as well as a good test of golf, where estuaries and natural vistas abound. State and national amateur golf tournaments are held here each year. On a historical note. A placard on the way to the ninth tee of the Greenback course commemorates the great 1948 Memorial Day flood that devastated the Vanport section of Portland, leaving homeless the nearly 28,000 residents. Here we are in the 18th, the finishing hole. And as you, as you can see from behind me here, it's uh, all water to the right, a slicer's nightmare. Actually, if my golf balls are food, There'd be some really chubby fish in this pond. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. Anyway, um, I understand that a new clubhouse uh, may be coming to the course. It may be. Yeah, we, uh, the city and Kemper Sports, have gotten together, and, and we definitely are in need of it down in the not too distant future. We're we're in a 40-year-old triple wide modular clubhouse right now. We we do the best we can with it. Um, we have proposed plans it's been in the conceptual design phase and, and it, the architects have done an amazing job um, all the all the pictures and drawings and plans that I've seen so far are, are outstanding and uh, it's not 100% done deal yet we're, we're working on it trying to move forward and, and yeah. hopefully well, we can get it done right the economy the economy kind of hurts uh, it could be a bad time but yet it's uh, it could be a great time because if it all goes through, you'll be ready for it when it all comes and turns around. Absolutely. Also, speaking of the, uh, the architectural design, uh, I've seen it, mm -hmm. um, and there's going to be a lot of green concepts put into it. The parking lot's going to look fantastic. Hopefully, we get some wider spaces for Absolutely. the cars, which is pretty amazing. Um, and the roof line, uh, uh, the meeting room, they all look fantastic. Yeah, they did a, they did a great job of, you know, we're, we're not trying to build a... A monument to an architect or anything else. Where it's very simple but very functional and, and very beautiful building. You know, based on the conceptual plans. Again, nothing's a done deal yet, but uh, yeah, I'm very pleased. They they use the they use the land. It fits with the land and and with the property very well. And and it'll be a pleasure to move into it when we get. Yeah, you know, I'm if sure. And when, it'll I'm be sure great. it would be for a managing dir uh, yeah. yeah director would be great. Yep. Well, I didn't get the honors from you. You're still up, guys, so yeah. let's see what the hell we can do on this one. Pair of bogeys, huh? Let's see what we can do. All right, great. Oh, my goodness. Great shot. It'll work. Hit it a little thin, but it'll. I think it'll play. Bed in the center of the fairway, you think it's going to play? Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've got my work cut out here. <laughs> All right. Well, here it goes. Lots of room to the left. Here we go. I'm going to have to try to match that drive. There's a better swing, Rocco. That's right That's down better. the pipe. Good ball. Ooh, Excellent. Actually, That's it's very uh, nice. down there. Yes, it is. All right. Hit him and find him. Let's go. Get that. Uh, 32. 132. Mm -hmm. 132. That's a good tee shot there, Rock. 
Are you kidding? I had to match you. Didn't I have to match you? Yeah, had to try. Beautiful. You did, absolutely. Yeah, we're both in fairly good shape. We're both in the fairway. Uh, to a pin that's tucked to the right. To the left. To the left. Yep. My military right. There you go. There you, there you go. go. There you One go. of the safer pins on this screen, which is nice. Boy, yeah, they, and, and, can... it's, and it's above the shelf because this is a, a, a tremendous, when the pin is to the right, it is a devilish putt. Oh, yeah. Incredible. Absolutely. This is one of the best finishing holes I've ever played. It's, yeah. it's on a public golf course especially. It, you can hide the flag in so many places on this green that make it really difficult coming down the stretch. So thankfully we got balls in the middle of the fairway and a fairly easy pin. So okay. see if we can and it, knock a birdie in. Nine pitching wedge. What are you going to be hitting for? We said 132. Probably just an easy nine iron. Okay. If it was a little warmer and hot, I might try to jump on a pitching wedge. But I think today, this early, just a little nine iron. All right, great. How about you? I was thinking nine also. Okay, I like it. Right. I like it. Great. All right, looks like Let's you might have got me by a yard. <laughs> All right, Stuart. So you put a good swing on it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I, I may have to jump on it. I should be dropping down a club. Well, but you feel know, free. let's just give it a shot. I'm sure. feeling strong, you know. There you go. And dumb. Well, I don't know <laughs> if it's dumb. All right. Put that same swing you put back on the tee on it. You'll be just yeah. fine. Yeah. Oh, that was a good swing. It's working its way over. Get up a little bit. Good shot, Rocco. Oh, below the hole, can't beat that. that. Nice. Good as it gets right there, bud. Thank you. Thank you. A dollar closest to the pin. All right. <laughs> Just to put, put some added pressure, pressure on, on here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> a lot of pressure for a guy that sits behind a desk all day long. <laughs> Oh, she's turning in. I'm in trouble. I think I just lost a dollar. Oh, Stay nice right shot. There, Very man. nice. Very All nice. Right. Two decent shots. Shots in there. Nice. I like it. I, as long bad. as I'm dancing, I'm happy. At yeah. least I'm uh, at the party here. There you go. And one of the more important things that a lot of amateurs don't do is fix your ball marks. Very uh, true. Right in front of my ball here, if, uh, if we can get a shot of it here, Okay, great. Is uh, is a ball mark that somebody, and it's obviously not our shot because there's your ball mark, right. and this one's aiming this way, but it's it's in my way. Sure. So I mean, it only takes two seconds. That's true. That's true. Okay. And there's a little bit, you know, if you, if you let me, there's a little bit of a misconception about how to go about fixing a ball mark. And, oh no, and, that'd be uh, great. Yeah. So yeah, I'll fine. show you the right way, and that's kind of why they make these tools with, the, but you can use it to or anything else. But so a mistake it, in the past, everybody thought that what you wanted to do is lift up when you did that. And, and over the years, the superintendents and the, the maintenance people have learned that, that that damages the roots. So most people think that you, you pull up, but what you really want to do is go around the edge and bring the turf in towards the middle there and see how it gets it all in there. That preserves the roots, then you can tap it down and everything's okay. Oh, good stroke. Break a little, it stayed straight on you. All right, let's see if I can knock one in and put you out of your misery. This one's got a little break to it. Oh, it's got more break than I thought. Good Lord. Well, that was nunk, up. and it came left hard. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Beautiful. All right. Well, now I just put so much pressure on myself. I. This is a tough putt. It is it's downhill. Added. Yeah. Well, I, I think you can. I think you can do it. I think you're. I think you're up to the challenge. It's gonna move a little bit on you. Let's see, you put a good stroke on it.
Wow, that thing breaks. Boo. <laughs> that fooled both of us, man. I still can't I, get it in. I didn't think, <laughs> I didn't think that that was going to break that much. Still, thank well, you right, very no, much. It was a pleasure. So.